Children, family members, friends, and well wishers converged on Ora to pay their last respects to the departed traditional head of Ora, His Royal Highness Matthew Ehijagbon Imona. They bid farewell to a man many described as a community builder, an epitome of knowledge, wisdom, courage, and humility, who demonstrated his unwavering passion and commitment to the development of Ora community. Different dance bands took turns to entertain at a lavish reception for guests, family members, and dignitaries. Some guests who include former Inspector General of Police Solomon Arase, member representing Oedo Federal Constituency and Chairman House Committee on Culture and Tourism, Engineer Moegi Ogbede Hama, Executive Chairman Oman West Local Government Area, Frank Ilaboya, described the late OJ of Ora, His Royal Highness Matthew Ehijagbo Imona, as a father figure and also offered the children of the late monarch good advice. They should stay together and uh, maintain the values and uh, morals that their father has inculcated in all of them. Them. The man lived a very good life and um, as the king here in Ora, he had shown exemplary qualities and uh, my advice for the children is to emulate the type of life their father had lived while he was alive and um, I pray that Almighty God will continue to give them the fortitude to bear this loss. He was a wonderful man, you know, as custom officer disciplinarian, you know, and a peace loving, you know, personality. I must tell you that because throughout his reign, there will be total peace in this area. And that is why we are going to miss him so, so much. Some of the children promised to follow in the footsteps of their late father who lived an exemplary life. My dad was a very good man. I had, I've never seen a dad like that. He so loved us, he cared about us. In fact, he was, he was a dad indeed. A person. He was so passionate about his children. He loved his children like every other father would do. And most of all, he feared God. And he was a Christian. And we miss the advice. And we also miss the shouting, the love, the care. You know, no matter what he did, yeah, the bottom line was that the love was there. Even when he scolded you, it was out of love. I remember him for so many things. I miss him so much. He will forever live in our hearts. He's been a good father to us and a good father to the community. And may his gentle soul rest in perfect peace. The late OJ of Ora, His Royal Highness Matthew Ehijagmo Imona, was appointed as the OJ, one of Ora, in 1999. Until his death, he was the Vice Chairman Edo State Council of Traditional Rulers, as well as Chairman Oma West Council of Traditional Rulers. Best Mbire reporting.